It's an exciting time for us. Um, you know, as I, I spoke to the team yesterday after we had a practice and I talked about just the great, the great opportunity to be able to take a trip to Italy. It's a once in a lifetime thing for us. You know, we're gonna use it uh, for many different things, obviously uh, to come together as a group, um, you know, obviously to, to develop some chemistry, um, some bonding, and also obviously to have the opportunity to be able to play. The practices have been very useful for us. Um, you know, uh, we'll have practice number nine today and practice number 10 in the morning before we leave. But as I said uh, before, I think our guys are really excited about the opportunity and uh, it's a great thing for us. You know, you know, I, at my age and you guys see I'm an older guy, I haven't had the opportunity to go to Italy. And so I told the kids that, you know, this will be a great thing for them. And um, I think all of those guys are ready for it. So, you know, every guy on a, every basketball team or every sports team, they have guys that they hang out with. I told them that they're not allowed to hang out with their buddy the whole time. They've got to do a good job of meeting other guys on the team and spending some time with them. So I think those type of things will really help. Everybody's going. Uh, the only guy who is not traveling with us is Amir. Uh, and obviously, um, I think he will be in Italy himself. Um, but I don't know if we'll cross paths. But everybody that's on the roster is going. Whenever you take one of these foreign trips, and we did at Wilmington, um, you know, you hope to get, you get the best competition that you can get. I don't know. Um, for me, uh, the competition, uh, we're hoping that it's a really good competition, but you know, if it's not, then certainly we get a lot of the trip anyway by having the opportunity to play the I game. couldn't tell you what type of lineups we're going to play. I couldn't tell you how many guys are going to play. I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't panic about it. Um, this trip is for our season. Um, it's, a, you know, it's a gauge to see what we need to work on and the things that prepare us for the season and not so much um, how well we play and you know, how many points we score, what we do, you know, doing this part in Italy. And so I can see as a coach and get back and just kind of figure out where we need to go and what combinations play well together. Security concerns about you? I just, we, you know, I just. Other than knocking over the I don't, know, I, don't like, I don't know whose mic this is. Ariel? <laughs> but I'm, I'm, you want me all to tell you this is not <laughs> Just forget the rest of them. I'll do this right here. You know, not so much, and I guess the wrong word is security, but we just don't, I don't feel comfortable releasing, you know, what days we're playing, what we're playing at. Um, I, I just, uh, for, you know, us in general, I just want everything to stay private. You will get updates about who we're playing against and, you know, where we're playing after it, but I don't want to release it beforehand. But they are set. In terms of bringing in all these new guys, is the sort of process of finding these guys and and at an unusual time of the year, has that been easier or harder than you thought it was going to be when you took your job, just in terms of putting together you know, a roster? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's the world that I've lived in before. It's weird because probably um, most coaches in the country would be panicking about the fact that they had to bring in, you know, four or five or six guys. But, you know, my 12 years at Hargreen Military Academy, we had to bring in 12 or 13 guys every year. So I'm kind of used to it. Um, you know, it was uh, the challenge was that when I first took the job, we didn't know who was on the team right away, and obviously waiting on Terry's situation, and then obviously the guys who had put the name in the in the draft and everything else. So, uh, for me, it's been it's been fun being able to piece some guys together. I like uh, what my staff has been able to do in a short amount of time, and I like the pieces that we have. Where does they see that in terms of conditioning as well? Well, for them, they think they're in great shape. For me, um, I think we got a long ways to go. But, you know, uh, it's tough to say, um, you know, as a coach, even though I'm a coach that prides ourselves on in being in great condition, you know, you don't want to be in the best condition in July and August. You want it to be towards the season. But I think we're in, we're in good enough shape to be able to play three games. Uh, how, how healthy does Lenard seem? Is he back close to 100%? Well, only if we will all take our right hand. Well, everybody take your right hand and I want you to knock on the wood in front of you. Um, he is, um, he looks healthy. Um, you know, certainly, um, you know, when you guys have the opportunity to see him, as I said before, he's changed his body. Um, he's working extremely hard. I'm excited about um, Lenard this year um, because that, as I talked about, he brings a different element uh, to our team that, you know, obviously they missed in the last year or so. How have guys responded since the spring on about the competitiveness you want to see, the competitive edge you want to try to make sure this team has, and I don't know how much of that is teaching them or demanding of them in practice, but how has that worked over time now that you've had a couple months? You know, this group has been great. You know, it, it's taken, um, you know, I, I would say the first week of the 10 weeks, um, 
some guys um, bought in quicker than others. And then, you know, by the time we, now that we're getting close to the end, I think everybody's on the same page. But it's been different for everybody, and everybody learns at a different pace. And, and certainly some guys have pushed themselves a little bit earlier to get in better shape, but I, I think we're all getting in shape. Um, as I told you guys before, this is one fall for where we need to be. Um, certainly when the season comes and um, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, but I like where we are, where we are today. As far as, I guess, not just the conditioning, but the mentality you want, do you think that message has gotten through that they fully understand where you're coming from and what you want? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think everybody understands. And um, I think you're going to have, um, matter of fact, I got Sam Morgan in, you're going to have um, Tony Leonard up here, and you can ask those guys that question. And uh, I hope they answered the right way because <laughs> I got practice today with those guys. Right, guys? All right. You guys good? Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.